Hey guys, now that we've been introduced to generating functions, we're going to look at how to find coefficients using generating functions. So what we know so far about combinations is that n choose r is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. This is without repetition, and with repetition it's just n plus r minus 1 choose r, which is equal to n plus r minus 1 factorial divided by r factorial times n minus 1 factorial. Okay, so what if n is negative? So what if we have negative n choose r? Well, that has a whole new formula for it, but it's using the same expansion as what we have here. Alright, so let's go ahead and expand it. Alright, so we have negative n choose r. Well, that is going to be equal to negative n factorial divided by r factorial times negative n negative r factorial. So that's going to be equal to negative n times negative n minus 1 and minus n minus 2 and so on and so forth all the way till negative n minus r plus 1 and negative n minus r so minus r factorial or factorial and that's going to be divided by r factorial times negative n minus r factorial. Alright, so those two terms are going to cancel out. Yeah. And that's, that's going to leave us with negative n all the way to minus n minus r plus 1 divided by r factorial. Alright, so if you factor out a 1 from all of them, we're going to be left with, so if we take minus 1 to the power of r, and that's going to leave us with n, n plus 1, n plus 2, and so on, all the way till n plus r minus 1. And that's going to be divided by r factorial. Alright, so the biggest term we have is n plus r minus 1, and the smallest term is n. So if we want to write this in um, factorial, we're going to have negative 1 to the power of r, that's going to be outside, multiplied by, so the biggest term is n plus r minus 1. So n plus r minus 1 factorial divided by r factorial. Now we want to divide with everything that's smaller than n. So that's going to be n minus 1 factorial. All right. Now notice that this term here, the term that we got over here, is the same as what we have for combination with repetition. So this term and the lower term are exactly the same. So that will give us this equation, n plus r minus 1, choose r. So that's going to be equal to negative 1, choose r. Uh, sorry, negative 1 to the power of r multiplied by n plus r minus 1 choose r. And that is equal to negative n choose r. So this is the formula for negative n choose r. It's just this, this part here. Alright, so here we have power series and that's just a, a group of generating functions that will transform into series and we'll see how the uh, how you can translate from one to another so over here you have 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth well that's going to be a plus all the way to infinity well that's equal to the sum from i is equal to 0 to infinity of x to the power of i also, this can be written as 1 over 1 minus x, and this is the, the generating function for it. 
So 1, 1 over 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed all the way to infinity. Alright, so let's take a look at a few more cases. So if you have um, 1 over 1 minus ax, how do you translate that into, into a series? Well, you just take all you have here and you apply the same thing you did up, up there. So you have 1 plus, well you have 3x plus 3x to the power rough 2, so 3x squared plus 3x cubed plus so on to infinity. So you just take this term here and keep multiplying it and so you keep adding them and every time you add you just increase the power. Alright, how about if you have a term on top? So you have ax to the power of n on top. Well, we know that 1 over 1 minus x will give us this term here. So you just multiply everything by whatever is on top. So this will give you x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth. And notice that the 1 is gone now because we multiplied it by x. Alright, well here we have... Um, 1 minus x to the power of n plus 1 divided by 1 minus x. Well, again, 1 minus x is 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. But if you divide, if you multiply that by what, what is on top here, so 1 minus x cubed, for example, then you're dividing, so you have 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so on. That represents 1 minus x. So if you multiply by 1 minus x cubed, that will go at the bottom here and that will divide by everything greater than x cubed so everything after x squared will be cancelled out and that will be equal to 1 plus x plus x squared so if you have a term on top or you want to stop somewhere then you just multiply by n plus 1 so you want to stop at 2 you multiply by 1 minus x to the power of 3. If you want to stop at 5, then on top you're going to have 1 minus x to the power of 6. Alright, and here we have um, the power, so 1 minus x cubed. Again, just throw whatever you have in here. So you'll have 1 plus x cubed plus x cubed squared plus x cubed cubed, and so on and so forth. Alright, in the last case we have 1 plus x to the power of n, which is the binomial theorem, is equal to n choose 0 plus n choose 1 times x times n, plus n choose 2 x squared all the way till n choose n to the power of x to the power of n. And likewise for um, 1 plus ax to the power of m, so everything to the power of n, you just take the term in here and you keep on throwing it in front of the m's or the combination here so n choose 0 and over here is just the, to the power of 0 that's equal to 1 so over here is just to the power of 0 so you don't really need to write it and then you have n choose 1 to the power of a to the power of 1 times x to the power of m since n is 1 and so on all the way till a to the power of n times x to the power of nm. Alright, so what if you have a negative n? So what if you have 1 plus x to the negative n or 1 minus x to the power of negative n? Well, they're both exactly the same. So imagine this as being equal to 1 over 1 plus x to the power of n. Alright, so if you expand this, you should get negative n choose 0 plus negative n choose 1 times x plus negative n choose 2 times x squared so once again you're just taking the term you have inside and you're throwing it in front of the combination and all that differs is you have a negative n on top Alright, and this can be simplified to the sum from i is equal to 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of i 
times n plus i minus 1 choose i. And this will be multiplied by x to the power of i. Alright, so this is the um, summation form. Okay, and the last last case here if you have 1 over 1 minus x to the power of n. So that will be the same case except you're going to have a negative n in the middle. Uh, sorry, negative x. So plus negative n choose 1 times minus x plus negative n choose 2 times negative x everything squared. And that will also go for forever. Alright, so now we covered all the cases we have, and in the next video I'll do some examples of uh, how to find coefficients, so stay tuned, see you in the next video.